know we haven't filmed in a really long time and we're really sorry, but we haven't really had much time together where we could sit down and get out the camera and film something. Today's the first time in like a month and a half. But we figured that we would do our September favorites even though it's kind of late, but... It's like halfway through October, but that's okay because we'll have October at the end. We're going to do our <laughs> September favorites, and so my first favorite is the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara. And I actually have been loving this because my eyelashes aren't very long at all. And I'm wearing it right now, if you can tell. They look pretty good. <laughs> and I have just been loving it. It makes my eyelashes look full and volumized, and I just love it. <laughs> um, my first favorite is actually lipstick. I'm, I'm wearing it. It's um, Rimmel London, the Kate Moss lipstick, and it's 102. I don't even know. Rosetto, maybe? That's how you say it. It's a really, really, really pale pink, which I like because I have a really bright pink one that's also the Rimmel, and it's, wow, hot. Um, super, super dark, and so I can't wear it to school. Like, I would wear it if I was going out on a date or something, but not to school. So, this is perfect for school. Um, my next one is a hair thing. Is a curling wand by Connor. I think it's the one inch. Yeah. And it comes with the glove, because I'm kind of a klutz, so it's good so for me. It's safe. <laughs> and I've actually been doing this to my hair maybe like three times a school week, which my hair's been holding up pretty well with heat protectant and everything. So I, ha I did it to my hair this morning, and it still stayed, and it is now like 6 o'clock, so it stays really well. I did it at like 7 this morning. So this is definitely one of my new favorites. Um, mine is, my next one is makeup still. It's um, Arbonne International, which is like, relatively unknown. I started selling it or whatever. But it's the um, sheer pressed powder, which I use to like set my makeup or whatever. So I don't really use a sponge. I use my foundation brush and after I have um, all of my foundation on, all of my makeup, I use it to set it and it you can't even tell even though it's technically colored. It's really not and so you can't see it at all. Um, my next favorite I've had for quite a while actually, it's just I've been loving it, especially recently because some nights, especially when I have a marching band rehearsal, my lips get really dry and the EOS eggs, this is the spearmint I think, um, it's lasted me, I think this is my second year on it and I still got that much left so it's really useful and it just helps keep my lips moist and not dried out in the cold, which is good because I hate that. <laughs> um, my next favorite is... Shoes? Our shoes? Is shoes? Our shoes. Our shoes. Okay, grammar. Our shoes. They're um, Oxford styles with heels brown because I started work, what, a month and a half ago? So I've been wearing these with my dress pants, with skirts, with dresses, and they look wonderful and they're a fall color, brown. Um, they're from Payless. I think they're like 25 bucks, 25, 30, but they're wonderful and I love them and they're comfy. My next favorite is these. <laughs> um, I am a bit of an English freak. Like I love everything from the UK and just kind of Europe in general. And so I love the like Doc Martens and the Creepers and all those funky shoes from the UK. So I have been wanting a pair for year, for literally four years, and I have never found them anywhere. I look for these all the time and I can never find them in my size or they're way too big or way too small but she got me these and I love them. They are gray and well silver really like patent leather silver with white and then they're the main part of them is silver if you can silver see through if you can see my nails through there and they're so comfortable and I love them so much I haven't tripped or fallen or anything which is good because I'm kind of a klutz. So they're just really comfortable. The brand is Superga. I believe it's an English brand is what my mom said. But they're really comfortable and I totally suggest trying them out because I thought Creepers would be uncomfortable and like the whole beauty is pain thing. I thought I would have to deal with that. But not at all. They're so comfortable and I love them. Um, my next favorite is kind of strange because it's 80 degrees half the time here and then 40 the other half the time. So it's not really either of them. But it's... Uh, well, help me. Leather jacket. Well, it's pleather, not really leather. I don't do that kind of thing. Um, but I got it when I was on vacation helping my grandma with stuff. 
and it was like 35 bucks so she got it for me for back to school but it's really comfy I can dress it up by wearing a dress or a skirt or I can wear it with jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and a blouse and it's really comfy I love it it's warm but it's not so warm that if it was like 60 I would be <laughs> dying of heat um I like the little zippers and everything everywhere it makes it a little bit funkier and more fun but I love it and my last one is another makeup one it's the it's a Kate Moss lipstick from Rimmel and it's in the shade 113 it's a nude color and it's like that it looks like this um and I'm wearing it right now actually and it's not nude enough that it looks like you don't I have lips put concealer on my lips but it's nude enough that it's not obnoxious and I wear this a lot for school just because I don't usually like obnoxiously paint for <laughs> red lipstick for school but I totally suggest checking out the Kate Moss line from Rimmel they I are second wonderful that. we both love them we have like five shades of it and <laughs> we're definitely going to get more and I really love them um, my last physical item is um, Tresemme Keratin Smooth in Infusing serum? Infusing? Infusing. That's how you say it. Um, it, you're supposed to do it with wet or damp hair, but I'll do it, like, if I shower at night, I'll run it through my hair that night, and then the next morning, if my ends look super frizzy or dry, or I'll take just, like, a little tiny pump, like, half a pump, not even a full pump, and just rub it on the ends of my hair, and it smooths them down, or I'll run it, like, on my part, and it'll smooth everything down really nicely. And uh, especially during the winter months when I'm straightening my hair, or I'm curling my hair, or I'm doing something with my hair a lot, like at least four times a week, which is probably more than I should, but it keeps my hair nice, keeps it soft, prevents me from having to get it shortened every month from split ends, which is really nice and I love it. Okay, I'm done. Um, my next favorite is a song that we both have been loving, but I used my iTunes card to get it, so I'm saying it's mine, and it's Gas Pedal by Sage the Gemini featuring I Am Sue, and it is not the most appropriate song, but it's definitely a good dance song, and like gets you going, and it's just really good, so I recommend it if you don't mind some inappropriateness. Um, my song favorite is a lot more appropriate than my sister's. Um, it's, um, Dance With You Tonight by Ali Murs. It's, I love it, it's a fun, upbeat song, and it's really cute, and I just want to sing and dance and go hug him, even though I'm pretty sure I would be attacked by his bodyguards. But anyways, um, did you buy it or did I? I bought it, but like, she bought it, but it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Exactly. And we love it, and I think it's on repeat on my phone, probably 99% of the time when I listen to music, just because it's such a fun song. And... Um, in September, we have also rediscovered a movie, and I don't, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's called Bridesmaids. It's really, and really funny. And we actually funny. don't own it. My best friend, well, our best friend, let us borrow it, because we had seen it before, but we were like, oh, hey, can I, we borrow this and watch it? We should let us borrow it. <laughs> so we watched it, and even our mom got into it. She was like, man, guys, this is funny. Girls, we should own this movie. So we, were, we may be owning it so, soon. So, yeah, we'll be owning it soon, but... I don't know. I just rediscovered it and I was like, whew, it's a good movie. Um, another one of my September favorites is actually a TV show. It's called Revolution. It's got, like, Billy Burke from Twilight in it, which makes me giggle because he's weird in Twilight and he's weird in this. So it's the same thing. Um, it's about, like, lights turning off. Like, all the power in the world shuts off and so, no YouTube. Sad. Um, and this teenage girl, her uncle, who's Billy Burke, and her mom and her brother and this big huge quest to get everything to turn back on. It's the second season and I love it so far and it makes me cry every freaking time. But that's okay because I love it anyway. <laughs> Any other favorites? <laughs> um, I have kind of a random one. I've been loving painting my nails, which is really I got her weird. Into it. Yeah, it's really weird because I'm definitely like, I love makeup, but I'm not good at painting my nails. But I've gotten better. My right hand now looks Decent. Decent. <laughs> my left hand always looks good, but my right hand looks decent. And, I don't know, I just, for the longest time, I just wouldn't paint my nails because they would always be chipped, or I couldn't do it by myself, so I'd have to have, like, my sister do it, which just made me mad because it took forever, and she always screwed them up, so I got really mad at her. I and really then, didn't. And then we got into a big argument about it, so I was just like, well, screw this, I'm just not gonna do it, I don't care, I'll have bare nails. But, in, like, 
August, I was like, oh, hey, my nails look ugly. I got to fix that. So I painted them, and then I was like, dang, I like this whole nail painting thing. <laughs> so they've been pretty much painted ever since. And I have continued my addiction to doing nail art recently. Polka dots did them last night at, like, midnight, but that's okay. So I got, like, no sleep. Um, but if you made it to the end, thank you for watching our randomness. We love you. Um, we're going to try to do more videos since it's been like a month and a half since our last one. We're going to try to do at least two a month. Probably a favorite, maybe a couple tutorials. Who knows? If you have something, tell us. We need help. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, but until next time, bye guys. Mwah. Mwah.